It's the day after Halloween. That's fine. That's fine. You can still dress up if you want to. Hey everyone, this is Alex. And today we're going to do a little follow up on the other video that we did for having better fans for your computer. You can check out this video here or here. Can't remember all the time. Last time I installed three Noctua fans and a heatsink in my computer. Basically things have been going very smooth except one little thing. I actually tried to overclock a little bit my CPU which really worked well but I think my motherboard did not like that at all. So after that I removed that overclock. The fans were spinning a lot and a lot all the time whatever I did. So what I needed is a solution to make my fan go smoothly right. Okay this is too hot. It's hot in here. <laughs> so I tried a lot of software and I kind of balanced the pros and the cons. And while measuring all this and how simple or bad it was, I actually stopped with Argus Monitor. Although that the software is not free, it's actually only nine bucks or 10. It really is reasonable for what it gives you. Before you go buy it, there's also a free a software called Speedfan if you want to try it. It's just a little bit more complicated and less intuitive. For me and my need, Argus Monitor was the best case scenario for 10 bucks and it's so much easier. Now most new hardware and most new motherboards, especially those that are actually going towards the gaming name or video edition, they usually have in the BIOS already a fan curve that you can put and measure and configure. And I'll show you just a second what is a fan curve exactly. So maybe your motherboard already have this in the BIOS or in the software that you actually bought that comes with your motherboard. And sometimes there are some controllers so you can control the speed of your fans there. So maybe you just want to check out those stats and not control them. So CPU ID monitor is actually a very great software and it's free. I'll just have a look here. For example, you have here my motherboard and you have the temperatures of all the sensors right here. And you can see that this one is 99 Celsius or 210 Fahrenheit. Obviously, this is a sensor that is missing in my motherboard or that is just broken. <laughs> if we go to the fans, uh, here we can see the three fans that I actually installed lately. So you have the system fan, CPU fans and auxiliary fan. This is actually related to where you plug them in the motherboard. Although that the CPU fan is kind of a mandatory if you don't plug anything there, probably that a few software will scream at you for not plugging anything in there. And here's the temperatures of my cores right now. It's not really doing anything, so it's gonna idle between 30 and 50, depending on what's happening. You have the utilization. Now, these are the real cores. These are the virtual cores. Uh, this is techno jumbo basically all cores are split in two and they can optimize the usage of the, the cores like this if you ever heard hyper threading or similar terms or virtual cores that's it so we can see the argus is to the right right here you can see the overview if you ever buy the software or try it out because you have a 14 days free the first thing i will tell you to do for start is go into the menu settings go to mainboard temperature configuration and here you see pretty much the same thing that you see right here to the left exactly those who don't work well you don't want to have them in your display and everything you can still have them but it's annoying so you can uncheck them because if they're not used why not remove them right and from there well you'll actually be able to use it correctly because there's so much more things you can configure so let's go to the main board which is the motherboard fan control and we're gonna go straight to the curves. So basically CPU fan, CPU droite is uh, the fan that is to the right of the motherboard. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And I've configured it for software control. So this is Argus actually controlling the fan. Now you can go into advanced fan configuration if you want. And basically you can put minimums, but you can actually keep that all on default. And the only thing I renamed is this, so I can actually see and know which one is which, which is very useful. You can see the RPM here, it's going towards 800, and that's exactly that number right here. So let's go to the curve, and here's the curve. I'm gonna put the curve right here. And if you look at the temperature, it's now 46. So you go 46, so you can actually change this, and this is actually changed from the default values. Let's say you want them to go even faster, right? You can say at 50, 
and 40. I'm gonna go ramp up the speed and we'll go at 58% of your speed. And then click OK and the percentage of the fan is gonna go up. So you see it went from 800 to 12,000. So I'm gonna put it back because I don't want to have too much noise. Although that those fans are so calm. So 50 degrees, 40. And I've calculated that when I keep it like that, it's actually the temperature doesn't really go higher than that at idle. If I do something really intensive, they're gonna ramp up around 60 and they're gonna stop there. So at 60, it's going at 60% of the full fan speed. So it's working actually really great. Now maybe you want to just check out which fans is which and you want to identify which one because you don't know. Instead of software control, you're gonna go to manual control and you're gonna go to zero and apply and you're gonna see your fan that you're playing with is gonna stop. So you'll know this one is the one you're actually controlling. If I put it back to something else, apply, it's gonna start over. So easy as that. 100%, 100%, let's go. And can we hear something even at 100%? A little bit more, but not that much. One thing that is very nice of that software that actually made my choice to buy it is just this just this so you have your fan you ask him to control you do advanced configuration if you want to you do your curve and then you choose what source of heat or of temperature is going to control that fan and then you have so much things right so in my case this is the fan for the cpu so i'm saying take the cpu which is actually the whole package of cpus and you can say hey you know what take an average of 10 seconds of that cpu and that is so much flexibility so if you have a fan that is in front of your cpu you put cpu if you have a fan in front of hard drive you can go and go to a drive which is so useful like i said most motherboards or most computers will actually automate all this unless it's a very old motherboard like mine which maybe is a little bit broken oh one more thing about argus you can actually put a few statistics uh, on your board uh, the notification tray so i've put a few things up there for example this is the temperature of the blue team which is intel so that's my <laughs> my processor if i change to uh, amd later on it's going to be in red this is my hard drives well one of the drive and that's of course is nvidia on my video card pretty neat and fun hopefully you like this video subscribe for more hit that bell icon subscribe did i say that again yeah hit that thumb icon and do some crazy photography and videography see you in the next video when things are going wrong or bad but for your computer or oh, let's do that again <laughs> That's why I chose this software specifically. Maybe that was a little bit too much techie. Coffee in the morning.